we've had a pipe blow up. That's all good. good hole right there. We survived the cold snap no problem and then now it blows up it's kind of weird. So right now Mike's up at the intake and he's pulling the boards off and that's gonna lower the water below the intake level and that'll stop water flowing into the pipe and then once the pipe drains we're gonna drain all the water out of the pipe then we'll be able to look and see what's going on maybe we'll have to excavate the pipe and see if it's either broken or if it's just uh, separated. We won't really know what we need to fix until we can stop the water. So that's kind of the next stage, is just stop the water flowing through the pipe. And then drain the building out. Probably about six inches of water on the floor in there right now. We're gonna go have a look. plan at this point is to excavate around the pipe and figure out what's going on there so we're gonna do it with hand tools maybe a mini excavator if we need it but better get some stuff done while there's still daylight today you don't really think that you're gonna be digging a giant hole into the ground but oh, apparently that's what we're doing here yeah oh. it's hollow <laughs> But well, yeah, I mean, we had some like low power and I was having trouble rotating the log. Kind of neat, neat and I thought, build. oh, casually, I'll just check the plant. Why not? And yeah, of course, it was just like muddy water pouring out from under the door and like dirt everywhere. And uh, here we are. So obviously like pipe burst or pipe came apart under the ground and shut the whole mill down. And then I had to run up and uh, take all the boards of the penstock so that the pipe can is, is stops getting filled with water. But there's about three feet of ice on the on our uh, penstock there, and I couldn't get through it. First, I had the shovel because that's the only tool we really have at the penstock, and then I ran up to the house and grabbed an axe and I'm trying to go through it with the axe and I realized, oh, it's like three feet deep because we did have minus 40 here, so that makes the ice really thick. And then, uh, yeah, and then we went and got a chainsaw, but then by the time Catherine had come back with a chainsaw, I had managed to crawl in there and get one of the boards out and release the water. But it sucked. It sucked. <laughs> and it hasn't improved much. So we had that extreme cold snap, minus 40, and then it suddenly like warmed up. Now it's like plus two or something, it feels like, in, in like a week. So I have a feeling like, Sometimes it can push that cold into the ground. That's that's one theory, but it could be anything until we actually see the pipe. And it looks like we're seeing some pipe right now. Yeah, actually. yeah, I think you're right, Mike, about the cold being driven deeper once it warms up. Yeah. Because, Mike, like, the water melts. Yeah, and then just drives deeper down. Yeah. So that's our T pipe. Oh, that's huge. so that's our secondary line, but that's the line that we're currently using for yeah. power. And then there should be a straight shot further to our left, viewer's left. So we gotta go a little bit deeper into the mountain here. Super gross. No, 
Oh no! It's it's a boy. <laughs> oh, the sack! You're ripping it apart. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be him. So convenient. Progress. This one's dry still. This system uses uh, carbon capture credits because we're burying carbon in the ground where it's safely sequestered. Look how sequestered it is. It's so sequestered. That's what we want. We want to keep it out of circulation. Yeah. I think we need to the sell them to the U like YouTube viewers. Oh yeah. Buy carbon credits. You could buy a carbon no, credit. <laughs> We'll send you a little bit of a little plaque that says one carbon credit and you can put it on your mantle. <laughs> yeah, based on how much sawdust we bury. Okay, isn't that kind of how it works anyways? <laughs> We're laughing, but this Wait is a real minute. thing, isn't it? Look at the progress I've made over the last several hours. The most recent purchase. We bought a impulse buy, 13 kilowatt. It's pretty big. It's got 220 on it. 13 kilowatt. 13 kilowatt. Yep. That's like a proper plant. Are we unloading it right here? Uh, yeah. I'll go get the boys. It's gonna be heavy. Oh, here everyone is. I have a generator. Don't you know it's about the right time of the year to play in the dirt. Hey. <laughs> do you need a generator down here, or do you brought yours up, Mike? I brought mine. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're all generatored up. It makes me kind of sad because we've been on this like environmental thing for a little while and now we just bring out the generators. Yeah. Oh, we're just slamming oh, yeah. it with generators. Did you guys crack that little corner off just now or? Uh... Yeah, that's where the water was all kind of Now he's, trying to, he's gonna try and use the x to pull this crack out so we'll jackhammer the whole cement pad to see if that's the leak. Oh, right there. Looks like the 90s. It looks like this block sagged. I think so. It snapped the pipe. Because this was a fracture line right here. Yeah. And this guy was strapping it like this. I think the, the other ground. Bolt. The ground that other bolt moved. over there. That long bolt. I hope it wasn't super important to have the metal chunk there because I don't know how we're going to get it back on. Let's see how it does. Pull it straight off the off the cap. I suspect that something moved, that like the concrete that was encasing it moved. Yeah, that seems the most likely culprit. This 90 degree elbow um, had a massive separation in it, and that's where all the water was coming from. It ruptured. Yeah. So the next stage is parts. We need parts. It's the middle of winter. We can't get irrigation parts anywhere. So in the winter, David's going to drive 350 kilometers to go pick up these parts and uh, 
you know, until we have them in our hands. <laughs> we're yeah. not going to get too excited. Then we're going to go from there. We're going to have to figure out a way to prevent this from happening again. So the biggest plumbing job of our lives. Yeah. Stick around for part two. <laughs> We're just kind of hoping it works. fine instruments. They don't work in the pit. Nothing works in the pit. <laughs>